Outwitting the Devil Summary. Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will be discussing Outwitting the Devil Summary in under 5 minutes. Don't forget to subscribe for a new book summary every day. But for now, let's get started. Lesson 1, you spend your entire life operating from either fear or faith. Going into his fictitious interview with Evil Incarnate, Hill already knew one of the primary tools in the devil's belt, fear. A few years earlier, Hill had received a death threat. He ended up hiding with relatives for over a year, paralyzed. One night, he finally went outside and found what Carnegie had told him about years before. The other self told Hill to stop giving in to fear and doubt and finally finish his philosophy of achievement, which he did. When we're listening to our other self, we have faith in ourselves. We don't give in to what Stephen Pressfield calls the resistance. This is the only way to properly operate in life. However, this other self is exactly what the devil tries to undermine at every turn of our lives. He does so by dividing mankind into drifters and non-drifters. Lesson 2, the devil seeks to make us permanent drifters, never getting around to what we're meant to do in life. Once he starts drilling the devil for the most common fears he uses against man, he'll quickly finds he has even cleverer ways of ruining us. The devil claims to first invade our minds with the principle of habit in order to then establish the habit of drifting. Here's what drifting is, straight from the horse's mouth. A drifter is the antithesis of a stoic. Drifters let themselves be tossed around in life and allow externals to dominate their minds. They go nowhere because they're not using their brains to think. Later in the book, Hill explains how drifting eventually turns into a hypnotic rhythm, which keeps people busy with trivialities, and over time, drifting becomes permanent. Unless we outwit the devil, that is. Lesson 3, there are seven principles which help us gain mental, spiritual, and physical freedom. After he forced the devil to reveal every dirty trick in his book, Hill finally goes about asking the master of evil for the ways in which we can combat his dire forces. He reveals seven principles humans should follow to find freedom in all walks of life. One definiteness of purpose. Choose a purpose, a grand aspiration, a big goal, and move towards it relentlessly. Two mastery over self. Discipline equals freedom. If you're driven by impulse all your life, you will go nowhere, like a drifter. 3. Learning from adversity. Failures are just failures. Whether we learn from them or let them stop us is up to us. 4. Controlling environmental influence. Who you hang out with matters. What your room looks like matters. 5. Time. Time can make drifting and negativity permanent but it can also make positivity and wisdom permanent. 6. Harmony. In order for you to balance mental, spiritual, and physical aspects of your life, you must be the main actor. 7. Caution. Always act. But always think before you act setbacks happen to the best of us. But those setbacks can quickly turn into lasting indecisiveness. Don't let them. Don't let the devil win. Life's too important of a game for us to lose it. Outwitting the Devil Review What a creative approach for writing a book, especially considering its time. Even 80 years after it was written, Outwitting the Devil shines with simple ideas, packaged in stories we can understand, and repeated in fun ways so they stick. Napoleon Hill may have been a controversial figure, but in his writing, I sense he had his fellow citizens' best interests at heart. What else can you learn from the blinks? 1. How many people are controlled by fear? 2. What privilege only humans have? 3. How Franklin D. Roosevelt united the country, not with politics, but with humanity. 4. An easy way to avoid the many traps of desire. 5. Why Hill had to learn to take his own advice. Who would I recommend the outwitting the devil summary to? The 27-year-old office worker, who's already bored with life at the beginning of her career, the 43-year-old writer, who struggles with procrastination, and anyone who feels like a spectator in their own life. That was Outwitting the Devil Summary. For more summaries do subscribe to my channel and comment below the book you want me to make summary of. See you in the next video, till then, goodbye.